everybody, it's Miss Megan from the Children's Room. I hope you're having a happy picture book month. In celebration of that, today we're going to read a story, and then I'm going to tell you about a craft that you can do to complement it. So, as you might notice to my side, I have a book called Pirate Jacket's Dress. And right above it, I have my own homemade pirate hat. So before I read you the story, I'm going to go ahead and put on my pirate hat. But afterwards, I want to show you how you can make one of them too. Again, the name of the book is Pirate Jack Gets Dressed. It's written by Nancy Rains Day and illustrated by Allison Black. It's published by Beach Lane Books, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster. And I'm reading it with very special permission from the author, who happens to be my mom. So first off, what do we notice about this cover? I noticed that it has lots of bright and colorful pieces of clothing all over it. So we know the pirate jack is going to get dressed. But maybe we should also pay attention to the colors of clothing that he wears. And as a bonus treat while we're reading, we can look out for pirate jack's friend, this little pirate mouse right here, because he'll be hiding on every spread. Let's get started. Pirate Jack Gets Dressed by Nancy Rain's Day, illustrated by Allison Black. Ahoy there, matey. Jack's me name. I'm a pirate. That's me game. I can see that all the letters are written in different colors. And oh, there's the mouse. At crack of dawn, I stretch and yawn and scratch me itchy gray long johns. His long johns are gray. And a little scratchy too. Where's that mouse? He's gray too, so he's harder to see. But he's peeking out the other side of the bed. I pull me eye patch from me sack. A pirate has to wear some black. There's his sack of treasure. There's his black eye patch. And if you look real closely, you'll see just a touch, just the nose of the mouse. Who's in me glass? Aye, aye, that's me. I sport gold earrings when at sea. His earrings are gold. Mouse is admiring them too from the top of the mirror. I need a hand for getting dressed. Me silver hook, you might have guessed. Silver is close to gray, but it's a little shinier. Let's see if we can find that mouse. There's the silver hook, and there's the mouse. I pull on britches, sunny yellow. Have you ever spied a finer fellow? There he is, he's putting on his britches, which is kind of like a pirate word for pants. But where's that mouse? Oh, and there's some more clothes in the closet. Without me shirt, I'd be dressed wrong, although it won't stay white for long. His shirt is white. And it already has a tear. Oh, and there's our friend Mouse hiding out in the closet. Silly Mouse. Ooh, what color is this page? Now what's the next thing I should do? I'll cover it with vest, oh blue. His vest is blue, light blue and dark blue stripes. What else is blue? Uh-oh, there's a light blue coffee mug that's spilling on Jack. Uh-oh, look who did it. It's the mouse. Look out, Jack. Ooh, let's see what's on this page. I see all kinds of colors. Today I'll wear a satch that's red and scarf that's orange upon me head. He has all different colors of scarves. He chose the red one to go with his orange scarf. But where's that mouse? Oh, there he is. He's hiding behind a teal scarf. What else? E gads, me toes be cold. Thick socks so pink or warm, I'm told. Oh yes, his pink socks do look very warm and fuzzy. Mouse thinks so too. He's hiding out there in the drawer. 
And Jack was right. His white shirt didn't stay white for long. There's the stain from the mug that Mouse spilled. Wow, what color is this page? A boot that's brown slides on one leg and on the other goes a peg. Where's Mouse here? He's peeking behind another shoe. It's windy out, I need a coat. Me purple one's the best afloat. Oh, there's his nice warm purple coat. But it's right, it's windy. There's all kinds of pages blowing around. Where's Mouse? He's hiding in his little mouse hole. Right there. What color I be missing, mate? Come tell me quick, I can't be late. Wow, he has on lots of colors, but there is one missing. Can we figure it out? Let's see what he's already wearing. He already has a red sash, an orange scarf. He has yellow breeches. He has a blue vest, a purple coat, brown boots, black eye patch, silver hook, and gold earrings. What color is missing? What else should he put on? Ooh, what color is that? Oh, I, it's green. I have just the thing. Jump here, Polly, from your swing. Jump here, right on his shoulder. Oh, who else is on his shoulder? It's the mouse. Now with all colors, right on cue. Where's that mouse? Peeping over the side of the treasure box. It's time to join me, Motley Crew. There's all his pirate friends. They're ready for their adventures on the high seas. Let's see, who else is there? All kinds of friends. He has one, two, three, four other pirates that he's with. And this one is wearing a black hat like me. I wonder if she's the captain. And that's the story of Pirate Jack Gets Dressed. Now, if you wanna make a fun, big pirate hat like the one I'm wearing, it's pretty simple. All you really need is some black construction paper, but don't worry if you don't have black construction paper, you could always use a newspaper. I used oversized black construction paper, but if you had regular size, you could always tape two pieces together. But let me show you how I folded it. So I have a big piece of construction paper like this. And the first thing I do is I just fold it in half. So now it's half as big, kind of from top to bottom. I fold the long side down. Now I'm going to open it back up. And now there should be a line where I folded it. And I'm going to use that line to guide me. So I'm going to fold down the two sides right along that line right along that line. So it'll be mostly like a triangle shape, although there's a little extra at the bottom and that's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. But I'm gonna take that extra part and I'm gonna fold it up to meet the other sides. So now it looks something like that. And then I'm actually gonna fold it back in the other direction now that there's that line. So there's a place for our head. The back side is kind of open, but if you want to keep it closed, we can, all you have to do is just affix a little tape right here. And then you should be able to plop it right there on your head. And if you only had one piece of paper, you could just make a much smaller version, but that would be pretty cute too. So there's different ways once you have your hat, like this one right here, that you can make your skull and crossbones. What I did to make my skull and crossbones is I just took a piece of regular white paper and a pencil and I tried my best to sketch out the shapes for the skull and crossbones. For the skull, I kind of drew a little bit of a light bulb shape and some eyes and a little triangle nose. 
And for the crossbones, I kind of made a big X with little, almost heart shapes at the end. But the great thing about pirates is, like Jack, Jack was a little messy. He was a little ripped. He was a little stained. Jack's not perfect. So it's okay if your hat's not perfect either. But it's still a lot of fun. So what I did is I, I cut out the shapes and then I used the back so you can't see the mistakes I made with the pencil or the marker on the other side. And I glued it on using either little glue dots. You could also use a glue stick. And that way you can get the skull and crossbones just where you want them. If you're going to use this method and cut out white paper, make sure that you have a parent to help you. Because this kind of cutting is a little tricky, especially when you get into making the eye holes. But if you'd rather and you have some white paint, you could paint it on yourself and you could make it just how you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. My circles aren't perfect. These are a little lopsided. Maybe one side of the brim is bigger than the other. But that's okay, because pirates aren't perfect either. Just like Jack, he was a little rough around the edges. But he still made a really good pirate. And when you have your cap on, so can you. In addition to making this pirate hat, if you would like to do more activities featuring Jack and his friends, you can always click below on the link. You can find the whole activity kit. So you might even be able to make your own parrot and you'll find some other activities and songs as well. So I hope you enjoyed this story and you have fun making your parody crafts and have an excellent picture book month, everybody. Happy reading, yar!